I'm Susan Fagan, your 9th District State Representative. Thank you for trusting me to represent you. The 60-day 2012 legislative session began on Monday, January 9th. However, we were called back for two subsequent special sessions, which finally adjourned on April 11th. And we can't forget that we were also called into special session the Monday after Thanksgiving, taking us right up to the week before Christmas. In that special session, we reduced the $2 billion shortfall by about $500 million. This was a year of some real change, as a philosophical bipartisan majority took the Senate by storm and finally began a dialogue on true government reforms and forced a balanced budget for the first time in many years. Not only was the budget balanced, but K-12 and higher education did not receive cuts, and these are budget items on which I receive the most comment and concern. It wasn't a perfect budget. I would have liked to have seen a higher reserve amount. Just $81 million in reserves is not enough to weather even a modest dip in tax collections. However, the reforms we put in place will begin to address some of the long-term budget issues. One reform requires budget writers to balance the budget over two budget cycles or four years. And this is a good step to ensure spending plans for the two-year budget don't leave the next budget negotiators with a shortfall looking them squarely in the face when they return to Olympia for the next session. Another reform addresses pensions for government employees hired after January 2013. And yet another reform creates transparency and more choice in the K-12 health insurance plans. And it also begins to look at how we can make the benefits plans more equitable for certificated and classified school employees. Now that session is out, I'm available to visit with constituents business owners, school officials, and chambers. You know, as you know, I try to attend as many meetings and events as possible to listen to your feedback on how we can make our state and the 9th District even better. If you'd like to schedule a meeting with me, please contact my legislative office at the number on the screen. Finally, you may not know that Washington State has some of the strictest legislative communications restrictions in the country. This is good because it ensures that state legislative resources are used solely for legislative related work. What this means to you, however, is that I cannot initiate communications with constituents. As of May 12th, I will not be allowed to send out my weekly legislative email updates. And beginning June 30th, my office can only communicate with constituents who contact our office. If you send me a letter or an email, I can respond as a normal course of my legislative work for you. But I cannot proactively initiate communications about legislative issues to you. This will be a challenge for me because I not only value your feedback, but need it to confirm that I'm doing the best job possible for you. I hope to hear from you, so please remember that my door is always open and I'm always willing to help you navigate a state agency, find services, and make sure our state employees are addressing your concerns in a timely and efficient manner. Again, thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Your comments and opinions are very important to me, and I hope you'll continue to share them with me as the year progresses. I'm Representative Susan Fagan. I look forward to seeing you around the 9th District.